Do you know what are the top five causes of death for black Americans? Let's talk about a topic that's vitally important yet often overlooked. We're diving into the leading causes of death among black Americans, beginning with cardiovascular diseases. When it comes to these diseases, black Americans face a higher risk compared to many other ethnic groups. For reasons that range from genetics to healthcare access, they consistently rank higher in mortality from conditions like hypertension and heart disease. This is not a gender-specific issue. Both black men and women are affected, though the risk factors and impacts can vary. For instance, black women may experience higher rates of hypertension. This underlines the need for specific preventive strategies tailored to each gender. Now let's add some historical context. Cardiovascular diseases didn't just suddenly become a significant concern. In fact, their prominence rose during the industrialization period of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This was a time when lifestyle factors such as diet and physical activity began to shift dramatically. It also coincided with an increased awareness of healthcare disparities that disproportionately affected black Americans. Fast forward to the present day, and we can see that these disparities have not disappeared. They continue to exist and in some cases have even widened. This is why it's crucial for us to understand the prevalence of cardiovascular diseases among black Americans. Recognizing the issue is just the beginning. We also need to address the underlying causes, from improving access to quality healthcare to promoting healthier lifestyle choices, but most importantly, we need to keep the conversation going. Because only by bringing these disparities into the light can we hope to see change. Understanding the prevalence of cardiovascular diseases among black Americans is the first step towards addressing these health disparities. So let's take that step together. And let's keep moving forward. Because every life matters. And everyone deserves the chance to live a long, healthy life. Moving on to the second leading cause of death, cancer. Now, when we examine the data, it becomes clear that black Americans often encounter disparities in cancer outcomes. Several factors contribute to these disparities, including access to health care, early detection, and socioeconomic conditions. Let's delve a little deeper. The impact of cancer isn't uniform across the board. Certain types of cancer may disproportionately affect black men or women. Understanding these nuances is critical when it comes to discussions around prevention and treatment. For instance, prostate cancer is more prevalent in black men, while black women face higher rates of triple negative breast cancer. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The recognition of cancer as a significant health concern for the black community gained momentum in the late 20th century. This was a time when the medical field and society at large were beginning to grapple with the reality of cancer disparities. This recognition was not an end, but a beginning. It marked the start of concerted efforts to understand and address these disparities. These efforts continue today as we strive to improve early detection, treatment options, and most importantly, prevention strategies for the black community. Recognizing these disparities in cancer outcomes is crucial in creating more effective prevention and treatment strategies. Now let's turn to a societal issue that has become a significant cause of death, violence, including homicides. The impact of violence is not evenly spread across our nation. It is a harsh reality that black communities experience higher rates of violent crime compared to some other ethnic groups. This reflects broader societal challenges that we, as a society, need to address. Both black men and women bear the brunt of this violence, but it's important to note that the nature and context of this violence can differ. For instance, black men may be more likely to be victims of street violence, while black women may be disproportionately affected by domestic violence. Understanding these specific challenges is crucial for tailoring preventive interventions. Now, if we take a step back and look at the historical context, we find that the roots of this violence run deep. They trace back to historical events that have shaped the community's awareness and advocacy for solutions. The legacy of these events continues to influence contemporary experiences of violence and the ways in which black communities respond to it. So what does all this mean? It means that we can't talk about violence in black communities without understanding its historical roots. And we can't address this violence without tailored community-based solutions that take into account the unique experiences and challenges faced by black men and women. 
Understanding the context of violence within black communities is key to developing effective interventions and solutions. As we move on, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share to support our channel growth. Our next health concern that significantly affects black Americans is diabetes. Diabetes is a huge medical concern and has a very high rate among black Americans. This higher rate can be attributed to a variety of factors such as genetic predisposition, lifestyle choices, and even access to healthcare. Let's dig a little deeper. Both black men and women are at risk of developing diabetes, but the susceptibility and management of this condition can vary between genders. For instance, black women may have a higher likelihood of developing type 2 diabetes, while black men may face challenges related to disease management. These differences underscore the need for tailored prevention and care strategies. Now let's step back in time for a moment. The recognition of diabetes as a major health concern within the black community has historical roots. It's been on the radar since the latter part of the 20th century, a time when factors such as lifestyle changes, diet, and increased awareness of health disparities came to the forefront. This historical context is crucial because it underscores the ongoing need for action and reform in addressing this health concern. So, where does this leave us? It emphasizes the importance of understanding these disparities in diabetes prevalence within the black community. It's, it's not just about recognizing the issue, but about creating effective prevention strategies and management plans. Awareness of these disparities in diabetes prevalence is essential for effective prevention and management strategies. Finally, we arrive at the fifth leading cause of death among black Americans, HIV AIDS. The impact of this disease on the black community is disproportionate compared to other ethnic groups. Despite significant advances in treatment and prevention, there remains a persistent disparity that needs to be addressed with targeted interventions. The disease does not discriminate between genders. Both black men and women face specific challenges related to stigma, access to care, and prevention. This underlines the importance of tailoring awareness campaigns and healthcare services to meet their unique needs. The historical context of the HIV AIDS epidemic takes us back to the early 80s, a period that shaped the ongoing efforts to combat the disease and its associated stigma. Addressing this epidemic requires more than just medical intervention. It calls for a deep understanding of its historical and societal context and a commitment to fight the stigma that still surrounds it. Addressing the ongoing HIV AIDS epidemic within the black community requires targeted interventions and a deep understanding of its context. In conclusion, understanding these top causes of death among black Americans is vital. From cardiovascular diseases and cancer to violence, diabetes and HIV AIDS, these issues reflect broader societal challenges and health disparities. It's crucial to acknowledge how these conditions affect both men and women differently and the importance of tailored prevention and management strategies. By shedding light on these issues, we can pave the way towards healthier and safer communities. Please hit the like and subscribe button to help support our channel.